If you're new here, we're Alison and James, and this is our tiny home project. It's been a real challenge turning this 50-year-old Airstream into our mobile home. She is 26 feet of pure disaster. Hello, oh, we're for that little piece. I'm not looking forward to this. This week threw us another curveball, and we sit down and open up to you about it all. Now that Allison sanded all the countertops back and they're beautifully smooth, before we oil them and finish them, there's just one thing we have left to do, and that is to stick very thin walnut veneer, just a hair, so thin, it's like very flexible along these plywood edges, just so the whole piece appear to be one solid piece of wood. So you just coat the veneer on one side, coat the plywood on the other side, let it set up for 15, 20 minutes until it's nice and dry to the touch, and then you have one very stressful opportunity to really stick it down nice and straight. It doesn't come back off again. Now that the veneer is attached to the sides of the plywood, we're going to let the glue set up for maybe an hour or so, and then we're going to come back, trim off the rough edges, and then oil these bad boys up. Today is a new day, thank goodness. Yesterday was a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, we didn't film 
some of the calamity that happened yesterday, but we've had a lot of other projects in the background that have been adding to the frustration and overwhelm of this project. We've got two vans that we've been renovating, plus we have a sailboat that we just bought like a week before we bought this Airstream. But then we got evicted, so it forced us to have to find a place, which is why we've been renovating this. Yeah, that's why we purchased the Airstream and it's been such a mad rush to get it done by the end of the month when we have to move out and move into the Airstream. Correct. And then <sighs> yesterday, James was on the way to Home Depot to pick up some more plywood and... I blew the head gasket in my van, so it started puffing white smoke. A cop pulls me over and he uh, issued me a notice to get my vehicle inspected within the next month. And it's a pretty hefty inspection where they kind of go through everything. So in addition to having to get my engine fixed, it has to be fully inspected through all the other systems. And if there's anything else that's wrong with the vehicle, I need to fix that to continue to have it registered. So it could be the end of the van. It's a 1975. It's lived a good life. It's just something else that we have to deal with this week because it's currently um, stuck in town. Yeah, and we have no way to get wood. We just have a Honda Civic, so it's kind of hard to put a sheet of plywood in a Honda Civic. That was some of the calamity that happened yesterday. Emotions were high. We're feeling a lot of chaos, and so we're gonna try and maintain a clean workspace, make some lists so that we can stay on track, really just hammer out this project we've got a week before moving. The pressure is high, but we wanna be enjoying yeah. the project as we go along. I think we're further along than we think we are, and it just feels like it's being chaotic because we've been doing a lot of small tasks that don't have a lot of visual reward, but I think we're nearly to the point where everything's going to come together nicely and we'll realize how far we've actually come down the track. It's a new day! Like pluses, plumbing is pretty well finished, we pressure checked it, we've, been, we've done over half the counters now, and we've just got a few small tasks we need to do before we can install the rest of the cabinets and the counters and get stuck in the building drawers. All the big jobs, most of them are pretty well done at that point. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, let's Shall get into it? it. So in order to get our cabinets installed, now that all most of our systems are in, we've just got a couple more things we need to do. First off, we've got to punch holes through the subfloor to run our gas lines up into the oven gas line for the hot water heater. We need to work out what the heck we're doing with our grey water and our drain pipes. So I think I'm just going to punch another hole straight through the floor and run them external to the trailer. And then finally, before we can install the cabinets, we need to finish the cap sliding cabinet doors because once the cabinets are installed, we can't take the doors out again. Sounds good, Captain. Are we about to punch a hole through our floor, which always feels a little unnerving, hey? A little bit. Oh, it's cold. You can't undo holes. Problem number one of the day. Drill bit's long, not long enough to touch the subfloor. So we're gonna <laughs> have to remove the uh, belly pan and do it the old fashioned way. It's a shame, I was hoping just to be able to poke it back up through, but. Well, we know from this project that nothing goes to plan. No, and I don't want to try to guess where the hole is. Yeah. Can you get me the Phillips head driver? Quizzing me because I didn't know what a Phillips head was. But now I know. It's all the way under here. This sheet comes down on top and then there's this second sheet in the middle. So maybe we will just guess where it is and punch it through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> new plan. All right, the new plan is we're just gonna cut a new hole from the top going down and then we'll just sort out where it goes through the aluminum and cut a new hole through the aluminum. I think that's a safer option than trying to guess where the hole is. You're probably right. So our gas line basically just needs to come up through the floor. So that will be for the propane line for the hot water heater. Yeah. And then I can maybe pull the hole in the bottom. 
Okay, ready? Yep. Bingo! Nailed it. Good job. Yeah, now we just gotta make the hole a little bit bigger. Okay, what do you Could need? Could you pass me the one inch hole, glue hole cutting drill? <laughs> this is such a trip. <laughs> well, your stick method worked. I know. Who would have thought that you can use a stick? Man, we are full of great ideas. Oh, man, a piece of rebar would have worked better, but in a pinch, just use a stick. <laughs> Losing weight. Yeah. Now oh, what's going on? You don't eat and you don't stop working. Yeah. All right, hole number two. Hole number two. We want it to come up in front of the wheel well. I'm gonna go check if there's any interference from beneath. And then I think we'll more or less do the same procedure <laughs> as uh, we did for the other side. Took two tries for that one, but we got yeah, her done. Uh, kind of hard drilling blind. I marked a hole where I think the plumbing is gonna need to go. We're gonna cut the hole in the floor over here. Hopefully it's in the right place. If it's in the wrong place, we're just gonna make the plumbing fit to where the hole is. Everything's clear beneath it. It's in a part of the cabinet that should be unobstructed. It's not gonna interfere with the base of the cabinet. So I think it's our best bet. It's also a good sign. Well, the good thing is that there was no cross member beneath there for the trailer strut. So we managed to avoid it. Oh, I thought you assessed that before. Nah, I was just hoping. <laughs> That's the cross member of the trailer. So we missed it by about a oh, quarter of an inch. <laughs> you can see a beautiful cross section here. We have vinyl, new subfloor, old subfloor, old insulation, cavity, hole. I didn't think it would be so difficult to get rid of the van. It's really cast me in a grumpy, irritable mood and I'm probably just not a very nice person to be around at the moment. I don't even think I want to be around myself, being one of those days. Sorry to all the people I've had to be around me today. Probably not so fun. I'm gonna try and cut the sinkhole. I've got it all measured out here. It's centered to the cabinet below it. I've taped down the edges just to protect it from chip out a little bit. And hopefully it all goes smoothly and we can turn the day around. Thank you for being here with us during the tough times. We appreciate you. And to all our new subscribers, thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next week. Ta -da. Yeah. There's so much space. I know. It's fantastic. I'm looking at the window, chopping my veggies. Plugging in the toaster. Washing my hands with yeah. warm water. Oh, it looks so good.